loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11th. Chiefs sitting at a very solid 4-2 and two record through the first six weeks. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And now the kick short, but this is a live football picked up in the end zone. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. First and 10, it's Pierce. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. These two teams, they met in L.A. earlier in the year with the Chargers coming out victorious. So if they can win again here in KC, they would pull off the season sweep. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Hurts throw going into the hands of Williams. And he's going to get this down near the 25. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a charger touchdown. Mike Williams with career touchdown number 60. And the Chargers are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. And he'll 
very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. <coughs> KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they entered play on a two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them, but go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. Oh, yeah, because you don't fucking shoot. 62 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. They go play fake. Mahomes flush to his right. This one caught downfield by Higgins. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Ah. Uh. say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position. And that was special there. Extra point by Butker is on target. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff. And it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. Get it. Get left side from Pierce. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. This defense for the Chiefs, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. And I don't know what the actual percentages are, and I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches always say, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning probably up over 98%. I haven't seen that number quantified. Oh, my God. They try to throw it second down. From the gun, it's hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply the offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitz...
blitzers. They come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who get your first downs and big plays of all styles, but you've got to have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Jalen Hurts, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Chargers have taken the lead. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. Through one corner, 14-7 out <laughs> score. It's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. He rifles one. It's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Chargers are in great shape here as they take over at the 36-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Jones has it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. Play fake. Here's Hurts. What the hell? This one that's going to be intercepted. This guy picked up Pass by Juan Thornhill. Man, pass him the And the Chiefs are going to take over once again at their own 37 yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are, positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. He tried to hit them over the top, unsuccessfully. 
And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, the goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Pierce gets this one running right. Takes it to about the 37. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. I do know that it's possible. He's still got some more in there. You're not going to dictate him. Defense, and guess what? Now you can make a tee off on the quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Throwing his hurts. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Well, those have been a problem for them all season, but never quite as much as they have in these last few minutes. Let's count it up now. A pair of picks on his team's last two drives and double-digit interceptions this season. I don't care if you're the best in the game or an undrafted rookie. You've got to take better care of the football or you're going to cost your team chances. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 35. 87 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first down. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Throwing on second and long, Mahomes. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. I 
thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Escaping the pressure right. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Third and short, and they decided not to run for it. He's able to escape the pressure. Finds a clear throwing lane outside the pocket. Gets the completion and picks up the first down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second and one from the two. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. T. Higgins. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Charger drive about to get going. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force it downfield, but the coverage was tight there. Fortunate it wasn't picked off. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They go play action with Hurts. Looking downfield for Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot. It's third down. chance to put some more points on the board. Bird sets up to throw it. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh my god. And Hertz is intercepted. His third of the game. Picked off by Ashton yeah. Davis. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half. Yeah, and that could lead to a field goal try been. the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it, try to get some points. Oh, old school coach. Probably would have said, take the knee. Let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. So, barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the young men. So we've come up on halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. 
This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a pretty slick return there. Almost got it to the 45. Officially, they'll call him down at the 44. With all the specialization we have in this great game, at some point, the head coach is going to take charge of every group. And I think at halftime, he spent a little time with the special hey. teams coach said, look, you've got to find a way to get us a big play to help us get back into this. The Charger drive about to get going. This offense, Charles, had a strong front. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. Now on second and 13, Mahomes. And he's got some space here. Get the he's out of here. Inside the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Mahomes now on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. There is something to a game plan when trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And the Chargers are going to get the football here at their own 23. One side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, he saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. He's not looking for him. Yes, let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Here's Hurts to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. On second down, here's Pierce. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Call it again at four, so it sets up a big play here. Third in the yard. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shot. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And they'll let their fullback try and 
push the pile. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Give him two on the play there. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal. On the sneak, it's Hurts. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have retaken a third quarter lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. 89 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back. He's trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes, open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be taken okay. down, but not before they work it across midfield. Getting it yeah. to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. That's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Take it inside the 25. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Mahomes firing complete. And able to get All this down right. inside the 15 right. into the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. That's complete, right around the eight. Now he's taken down at the seven after a game I played of that seven. Perfectly. I couldn't get second that. down and three, ball on the seven. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got on the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Touchdown, Kansas 
Sammy. Patrick Mahomes, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Where is this game? Extra point by Butker is on target. And that gives him a three-point lead. to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 57 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. First down, they go right back to Pierce. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he's a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. And they also love the downsides of Bitsy going to run down because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't flip the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a bandit. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Finding Hawkinson here on the out route. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. The slot man in motion right. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we're watching them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Back to the ground with Pierce. Oh, he throws over him. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. Do, do, I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Hand off right side to Pierce. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. We used to work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run here with Pierce, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. 
Damian Pierce with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chargers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Now on the return. Oh, no, the ball is loose. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mahomes. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Here's Mahomes. Fighting Hardman. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And the comeback may stall out. It's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Hand off left side, Pierce. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. And the second timeout call for the ball of the defense. And he'll be stopped at the 27 yard line, well short of the first down marker. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Hopkins' kick is good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all... And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And the Chargers are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And you've got to say, C.D., it was the defense who had a big part in the W. Oh, without question, when you force four turnovers, 
You get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home. He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're going to be on the hunt. So for the Chargers, they move back over 500 now at four and three. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, the loss drops them back to four and three so far. And they'll get an extra week to think about it as the midseason bye might be coming at just the right time.